three dead from rare bacterial infection in New York area. What to know about Vibrio vulnificus? This summer, one resident of Long Island and two inhabitants of Connecticut passed away due to Vibrio vulnificus, a bacteria present in raw shellfish or seawater. New York Governor Kathy Hochul confirmed these incidents and mentioned that the bacteria, though rare, has reached this region and can be extremely dangerous. The death on Long Island is still under investigation to determine if the bacteria were contracted from New York waters. Last month, three residents of Connecticut were known to have contracted the bacteria. The victims were aged between 60 and 80, with two deaths occurring in July. Notably, these aren't the only instances this year as last month. Three North Carolina residents also died from the bacteria. Around 100 cases of Vibrio were reported in the United States annually, but due to untested mild infections, the real number is uncertain. About one-third of reported cases result in fatalities. To stay safe from Vibrio vulnificus bacteria, Governor Ho Chul advises the public to protect open wounds from seawater, especially those with compromised immune systems, and to avoid raw or undercooked shellfish. Further precautionary measures, as recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, include washing hands after handling raw shellfish, avoiding contamination of cooked shellfish with raw shellfish with raw shellfish, and cleaning wounds exposed to seawater thoroughly. If a skin infection develops, medical providers should be informed of any contact with salt water or raw seafood. Infections are diagnosed when Vibrio bacteria is found in the wound, blood, or stool of a person and are treated with antibiotics. In some cases, amputation might be necessary to remove dead or infected tissue. Thank you for staying tuned till the end. If you found this information on the Vibrio vulnificus bacteria and the importance of taking precautionary measures valuable, please give us a like. Your support helps us continue providing vital news summaries like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Stay safe and remember, your health is our priority.